Hey guys, this is Ed from Mission Ed Possible. So today we're going to be looking at Adventure on the Atari 2600. Let's get into it. So Adventure, if you uh, have you seen or read the book uh, Ready Player One, uh, this was a big, big thing in in that uh, story. And basically, you know, it's a uh, a maze game where you're you know trying to kill a dragon. So you'll you'll come out here and. Um, and then you can basically go around the game is is interesting in that the mazes are like the same screen repeated and you don't know what um it, it's can be really confusing um and of course as i was saying they have multiple variations in a lot of these games and so i'm playing on the first variation so okay we got a dead end and you gotta go back um, and the idea is basically you're trying to get keys and open up castles and, uh, kill the dragon and get the, there's a, like an amulet or actually I don't know what it's called. So chalice, I guess. Um, and I mean, there's a, there's manuals that'll probably say it's the chalice of blah, 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 but you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, so this was a, a major, um, major thing in the book and there was, there's a major reason for it. And the reason why is because... Um, it was actually the first game to have, uh, as, as far as we know, the very first Easter egg. And that is, you know, obviously where there's something hidden in the game and, uh, you know, you, you have to find it. And the reason why it was uh, a big deal is because the, and they've talked about this in the book too, but in the movie. Um, so... The, the company, you know, Atari Corporation, they had a thing where they would hire their programmers to work on games, but they wouldn't give the game, the, the programmers any credit for, for um, uh, uh, you know, writing the games. Um, at that point, it was just, you know, they just hired you to, to do the work and that was it. And so that was, you know, because they were, they were in charge and they could do that. And... So, and actually there was uh, some, you know, people that, that got disgruntled and they left the company because of it and started their own. But the guy that wrote this game, uh, his name is Warren Robinette, and he created on one of these screens and, and I could look it up on how to do it. And if you guys want me to do it, I can look it up. But um, that he created a screen that you have to do some special thing and it would have his name written on the screen. And uh, this is kind of cool. You can you can move this bridge here and be able to walk across a thing, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, in any case, he he uh, has this screen. It's an Easter egg, a egg, and it says created by Warren Robinette. I think his middle initials in there too. Anyway, um, so and they didn't, you know, the, the company Atari didn't had no idea that it was in the game, and so that was his kind of. Um, you know, stub, snub his nose at the company and go, well, you're not going to give me credit, so I'm going to put my name in it. Um, so that was kind of a, a cool thing. So it was the first Easter egg. Um, you know, I'm not that great at the game, to be honest. It's like I haven't memorized all the, all the mazes and stuff, but yeah, you get the idea. Hope you liked the video, and if you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more of these videos, be sure to click on the playlist right up here. And as always, see you in the next adventure.